Previously on A Brookhaven Funeral, the town gathered to pay respects to Gianna, the wife of Mayor Sherman Brooks. And then things took a dark turn when it was revealed that a scientist named Jackson was conducting experiments to bring her back to life. And then things took an even darker turn when beloved Mayor Sherman Brooks turned into an axe murderer. But upon his capture, it was discovered that Sherman's crimes had been carried out by an imposter. Not knowing who was real or what to believe, the president ordered Sherman Brooks to jail pending further investigation. When the prisoner escaped, everyone realized the imposter was still impersonating the mayor and the real Sherman Brooks was still missing. And now the story continues. Big news, Boris says he's got Sherman at the police station right now. How do you know he's real? Are you real? Yes. No, the fake one would. That's exactly what fake Sherman would say. Lucy agrees. Are you sure he's real? She says. Mm -mm, guys, not trusting any of this. How did things spiral so out of control? Wait. Sherman? Yes. Tell me if the club is open. Because <laughs> that's what's on his mind now. On Mondays. Ooh. Oh, I get it. He's testing him, asking him things real Sherman should know. And Sherman said it's not, which is true. Kay said he is real. He's satisfied that fake Sherman wouldn't know that. I have another thing to see if he's real. Okay. How long have you been mayor? Only real Sherman would know. Well, and maybe any citizen of Brookhaven who voted for him or against him for 15 years. Oh. That is correct. In Brookhaven time, he has been mayor for 15 years. When are the club dance-offs? Ooh. Come on, Sherman. Saturdays, he's right again. I think this could be the real Sherman. Look how contrite and downtrodden he looks. I think it's him. Now, I don't know when the switch was made, but fake Sherman tried to kill me, and this is the real Sherman. Probably. President Boris is going to make sure though, which is fair to be safe. He's putting him in, back in jail, I bet as a test to see if this Sherman escapes. Yep, that's exactly what Boris just said. If he escapes, he's fake. Because real Sherman, no break law. You're right. Real Sherman is a law-abiding citizen. Police officer Jack is here. Mr. Brooks, please follow me. I think he's gonna find out if this is really Sherman or not. Okay, so the cops are in there and they're gonna question him. Police officer Jack is gonna be doing the questioning and Lucy is taking notes and he's asking her to guard the door. She said, yes, sir. Oh, she saluted him. Nice touch, Lucy. Oh, they're turning the lights off. Want a sip of water, friend? I'm good. Take it, I insist. Okay. Who do you work for? Boris. Oh no. Katie Brooks is in there. Do you got any proof you're the real mayor of Brookhaven? 
I left my stuff at the church. Here's some cake, friend. Why does that seem so menacing? Enjoy it. <laughs> oh, good. Thanks for offering, though. Sherman is not falling into some sort of trap of being poisoned or medicated. You know why you're in here, right, pal? Oh, Jackson's back. Katie's back, too. Hey, Whispers, I think that cop is trying to poison him. I agree. So, Jacob was a former president. Boris is the new president. So, the former president and his sister tied up Sherman Brooks. Because, why? They want to take over Brookhaven? How about a chocolate bar? He is really pushing this food on him. Um, wow, but Sherman Brooks is smart. He is not taking the bait. Do you have any enemies? Yes, he has enemies. Rex, that's right. Rex Rich. President Jacob, Edith Frankel, that guy who lost the dance off at Club Brooks, the former mayor, and me, Hoptastic 3, because I'm the leader of the Great Wolf Society. So yeah, lots of potential enemies, but they're focusing on the former president, Jacob, framing him. Sir, I think he's telling the truth. Now he's trying to give him shifts and he's, I don't know that I trust this police officer. I'm beginning to think Officer Jack is a bad guy. Jackson, why are you doing this? I have to confront him. This guy has done a lot of really questionable things. My biggest question is why did he try to resurrect Gianna Brooks? He's saying something about Sherman stealing money, but we all know Sherman didn't do that. Jackson is deflecting big time. They're telling me to step away from the jail cell. No, I will not. Come at me, Jackson and Jack. Oh, there they go, turning the lights out again. Shady, shady people. I'm not going until I get answers. Sherman says arrest Jackson. I agree. Oh, Jackson got out the taser. Not good for me. I'm down. Okay, there is bad stuff happening here. Lucy's down, I'm down, Kay's down. Jackson, what have you done? Oh, here comes President Boris. Maybe he can make some sense out of this situation. Enforce some sort of executive order against Jackson. Oh, he's trying to help us. Of course Boris would do that. Okay, Boris is contesting Sherman's release for some reason. He says it was an unauthorized release. And I guess it was since it was put forth by a scientist. Uh-oh, Kay's been shot. I think Kay needs a doctor. Jackson, can you help him? Jackson says, I'm a government doctor and scientist. And a ranking 10 officer. So I'll take that as a yes. I'll help, I'll apply pressure to the wound. We gotta stop the bleeding. Okay, Jackson, he's all yours. Heals leg with secret powers. Secret powers? Uh-oh. Well, Kay's healed, so yay, I guess. Thanks, Jackson. 
All right, little Katie Brooks was running down the street, so I'm following her into the hospital. Oh no, what happened? Boris, what happened? Sherman Brooks is on a hospital bed and he does not look good. I gotta find out what's happened now. Boris doesn't know. Okay, well, I'm gonna sit here and hold vigil in his room, I guess. Dies? What? Uh, no, 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 no. We are not killing off Sherman Brooks. Uh-uh. I'm just gonna say, no. Oh, and little Katie's crying. No, we have to fix this, you guys. We have to do something. I'm saying Sherman must live, and Katie said it's all Jackson's fault. I believe that. Boris says he's going to fire Jackson. Good idea. Katie screams so loud she breaks all the windows. Sad. Oh, good, a doctor. She asked what happened. Girl, we do not know. Please save him. Oh my goodness, so much drama has gone down. I don't even know what's going on anymore. Doctor says she doesn't hear anything. I'm gonna try to get Katie out of here. The doctor said, I'm sorry to say that. Starts breathing, oh, Sherman's breathing. He's breathing, he's alive. Yay. No, he's back down, why is he back down? Is he okay? Hey, there he is. Look at that smile. Yay, Sherman. Well, blood tests at the hospital confirm that this Sherman is the real Sherman, but this is far from over. Unfortunately, ex-president Jacob is still out there and Boris is claiming Jackson is a Russian spy. What? Yowza. Well, now hang on. Is that a, a reaper? Is there a reaper here now? Just when I thought this couldn't get any weirder. Uh, President Boris is deploying all the armed forces, yada, 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 but I want to deal with this Reaper. The Reaper claims to have killed someone. Spill it, Reaper. Who did you reap? Sherman. <gasps> So the Reaper is who's responsible for him almost dying in the hospital? No, Reaper, you better leave Sherman alone. This Reaper probably works for President Jacob or Jackson or all of the above. But you know what? I'm gonna get in between the Reaper and Sherman. No, Sherman, don't get in front of me. I'm protecting you. All right, Reaper, you gotta go through me to get to him. Okay, says we can get Johnny. Who's Johnny? It doesn't matter if he can help us get him. No, not again. Sherman's down. Reaper reaped him. No, Sherman! Military dude, stop this Reaper. Now don't do a coy little wave and say hello. Stop this Reaper. Help, guys. Ugh, fine, I'll do it myself. Stop, Reaper. That ought to do it. Kay says at this point, I don't even think Johnny can fix this. Well, you know what? I think little Katie Brooks can. Get that Reaper, Katie. 16 in the clip and one in the hole. Katie Brooks is about to make some Reapers turn cold. Oh, Sherman's up. And Katie is still just unleashing on this Reaper. Oh, Reaper down. Nice going, little Katie Brooks. Wow, it's been crazy, y'all. We've defeated axe murdering mayor imposters, a shady government doctor, scientist, air conditioner, hacker spy, a cop with a poison vending machine, and now a rogue Reaper. And it looks like President Boris has deployed all our troops 
to keep us safe and secure. Oh snap, I think the Reaper turned into a demon spider. Yeah, Katie's got it. I don't know, maybe it's just wishful thinking, but I think Brookhaven is going to be okay now. And to think this all started as a simple funeral. That's the great thing about role playing in Brookhaven with a bunch of people. You never know what's gonna happen. It's an adventure for sure. Shout out to Jay Plays. If I was supposed to give you a shout out, remind me I've lost my list. Thanks for watching. See you in Brookhaven.